All right, so today we're going to be talking about vacuform tables. So I'm going to give you a partial list of things that you need to build this. Obviously, you're going to need your wood. You're going to need a ruler to draw your lines and a marker. You're going to need uh, screws, which I ran out of. i got to go pick up some more. Uh, a drill. Caulking gun for all your corners and edges so you can seal it up so you're not losing vacuum. Some sort of cutting device, uh, such as uh, this is a multi-tool I picked up from Harbor Freight. Uh, or you could use a hacksaw, a regular blade, a table saw, a chop saw, uh, whatever you want. So Now, as far as the wood, um, I could have gone with a pegboard, uh, but most of this is reclaimed wood. So, uh, essentially, this is this is from an old table. Uh, the legs broke on it, took, took the, uh, the legs off, and uh, reclaimed the wood. So this is about a half-inch plywood. Uh, and the size of this is about 23 inches by 23 inches. So, and then the, the sides of this are actually from a um, box spring. Uh, so basically, I, I took it apart and reclaimed the wood. So um, this is all basically a reclaimed wood table, vacuform table. So, um, so as you can see, I've got the lines drawn in this. I've got holes drilled on this portion here and this portion here. Um, and uh, I'll be doing a, a time lapse for the rest of this here. Um, now, I, the way I've drilled these holes, I pretty much just lined them up and then did a grid and started drilling them. So uh, what, what this table allowed me to do is actually uh, quickly prototype sculpted parts. So let's say I want to do a face plate. I just put it right in the center there and then uh, do the thing after that. So basically it would, it would just give me a form of this face plate here. Um, which basically this would be a buck at that point, uh, vacuform buck. So I still have to build uh, the frame that holds the plastic and I still actually have to attach the bottom. Now the bottom will actually have uh, a hole right about here and I'll be uh, attaching a vacuum. Now I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna be using a household vacuum or a shop vac. Um, I'll be figuring that, that out uh, coming up this weekend. So, uh, but this is, a, this is a good way of doing armor pieces. Um, most of my stuff is fiberglass, so it ends up kind of being heavy most of the time. Um, when I make a part with the plastic, it'll be lighter, uh, flex more flexible, uh, easy to paint. Um, there's, there's a whole bunch of pluses to the vacuuming technique. So uh, the same technique they used in the Stormtrooper armor um, for the Star Wars movies. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty quick. A uh, lot less uh, having to deal with fiberglass, which is what I'm trying to get away from. Uh, the helmets that I do probably will be still be done out of fiberglass just because it's easier to, to add hinges and stuff like that to them as opposed to try to add them to plastic. Plastic and fiberglass, in my opinion, um, has a tendency to kind of separate after a time just because of the different material, um, the, the properties of the different materials. So, uh, but this is the vacuum foam table. Uh, as I said, I'll be doing some more updates on this soon. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's basically build a box or, you know, frame on the outside and screw the wood down on top. Uh, drill a bunch of holes in the top of it. Uh, the, the bottom has to be done still. Uh, and that should be done soon. I got to go, as I said, go pick up some screws. And then uh, I got to figure out what I'm going to do for the, the vacuum nipple at the bottom. So, um, stay tuned, guys. More updates on this. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. As I said once again, um, and uh, as always, guys, share, like, and do your thing. Thanks for watching, guys.